Hi, in today's video, we are going to learn key factors of data visualization. First, we will see where is the control of presentation lies. Then we will see faster and better JavaScript processing, rise of HTML5 and its browser support, lowering the implementation bar. Now, what is control of presentation? The presentation's control, that means the whatever the data visualization we get at the end, is being controlled by the web professionals because they are responsible for growing the sphere of communication. So, right from the acquisition to the representation of the data, there are chain of web professionals which are available to do their work so that the end result will be more useful to us. So let us see what is the process of visualization from the web professional's point of view. So very first one is a web developer who is having server side skills which is needed to handle the backend processing of data and make it accessible to the user. Then there is a JavaScript coder who is responsible for filtering, sorting, and manipulating data which is used to prepare it for the presentation. Then comes an HTML coder which builds any required form with, who works with JavaScript libraries for its input validation. And there is a graphic designer which creates the look and feel of the data related pages which include styling, color deciding theme and or uh, the dimension of the visualized data, the type of chart that we are going to use to visualize the data. Then finally, there is a web coder who is imparting all its knowledge of JavaScript, core framework and data visualization library which displays the data in a representation format. So all these uh, web professionals whether their task is being done by a single individual or they may be the group of some handful of people who are working more closely and performing each other's task. So whether it is being done by a very busy person or a networked team which is spread across the globe, it is important to take away that web professional owns the data visualization process from top to bottom. That means right from acquisition of the data to the final display of the data, we require one or more web professional who is fulfilling the duty which is being done by all them collectively. Now faster and better JavaScript processing. So JavaScript is a vehicle which drives us towards the data visualization. So the increase in JavaScript processing functionality have a direct effect on data visualization analysis as well as rendering that is displaying field. The JavaScript engine handles both raw numeric computation as well as on screen drawing. So with the help of JavaScript processing, we can process large numeric numbers and we can also draw them on the screen. So this combination of tasks which is being performed by JavaScript is increasing its popularity over the browser without having any third party support such as Adobe rendering. We initially required some plugins display our information like Adobe Flash or Corel Draw. But over the web, to visualize something, to draw something, to process some data, we do not require some third party plugins. It can all be done by JavaScript processor effectively. Now rise of HTML5. If I call JavaScript engine as a vehicle, then HTML5 is a fuel to that engine. So faster engine is not doing any good work without fuel to run it. If we have a brand new sports car and we do not fill up the fuel, obviously that car is not going to run. 
So if JavaScript is an engine, we have a fuel called as HTML5. Why HTML5 is that important to the visualization of data? Because they bring partners. First one is CSS3. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet 3, third version number 3. And Advanced Java Script APIs. HTML5 can perform all visualization of data with the help of simple empty canvas tag. So, empty canvas tag is only the requirement or to include inside your HTML page. Now, you have full control over the graphically represented primitives. Like you can draw circles, you can draw rectangles or any other geometrical shape. You can plot points over data or you can draw lines. You can apply some gradients to an existing object. You can import and show some images. You can add animation. That is all done with the help of JavaScript line. To include graphics to your HTML5, we require canvas tag to get inside HTML form. So HTML5, the only important tag that we are going to use is a canvas. We also have an option to make whatever you put to your canvas, which is interactively capable of being changed by the user at runtime. Second is an of SVG. If you are not using canvas tag, then SVG is there to do all the visualization purpose. SVG is standing for scalable vector graphics. All the images which are present over the Google are actually in SVG format. So SVG has its great expansion with HTML. It is an alternative to your canvas tag which is giving you rich graphics over the web. So just including SVG library and you have a full control of all the images and graphical elements. SVG defines images or graphics in a vector based. So images or graphics are basically written in vector based form using an XML format. Every element and every attribute of a particular graphic can be altered and animated inside an SVG file. So you can write an XML code which is changing the element from one form to another or you can change an attribute like a color of a graphic element and get it animated with the help of SVG file. Along with that, SVG is also W3C recommendation which integrates other W3C standards such as DOM and XSL into it. Now web phones. It is not compulsory that whatever the phone faces that comes in your system must be used to visualize your data. So around the world, there are designers who are working on the new code bases every day and those code bases are available over the web and obviously using HTML file, we can dynamically change these web fonts of a graphics advanced form elements of HTML file. So in a traditional HTML form, there were some strict and rigid elements like input field of text, password field, we have radio button, we have checkbox, we have some selection and marker fields. But with the help of HTML5, there are some advanced form elements which give us more control. Say for example, the kind of color picker. Clicking on a particular color, it will open up the complete color chart over which you can select any particular color Clicking on that particular color will give us its RGB value or its hexadecimal value. So these kind of elements or color pickers or advanced form elements will allow user to easily give an input which is error free as well as give us the better using experience. Consider for example this file upload. In a traditional HTML form, whenever you want to click on a file upload, one open window will appear from which you have to browse and select your particular file. But in current HTML file element, you have to just 
find out your file from a computer system you just have to drag and drop and automatically that file will get uploaded so instead of opening an open dialog box of a system you just drag and drop to an upload of file say example of masked in two we don't want user to make any kind of mistake so while date is showing the default date as well as its current format or its acceptable format either user can write it down in a given format or can pick a date with the help of date picker similarly is applied to the time picker the user can either apply 24 hour time or in a 12 hour time with a default value in it also have mobile number input box an input box of a mobile number would require plus followed by country code followed by ten digit number so the same format is being displayed over the mobile phone number picker next is a slider one is showing the progress of the form or second one is showing the range of input for which user wants an answer So here there are types of sliders such as input slider in which we have how many what is the current progress we have user have done so far or or range that user is expecting to see Now we have a vehicle which is a javascript processing plus we have a powerful engine oil which is html5 but all of this together do we know how to drive this car for that we have JavaScript related libraries, specifically written in jQuery. So, what is jQuery? jQuery is giving a slogan: "Write less, do more." It is true that if anyone who knows JavaScript can also manage how to visualize data, but jQuery have made our data acquisition, conversion, and rendering phase of data visualization more easy. So someone who is armed with jQuery and its targeted library will become more easy and efficient for a successful data visualization process. So more sophisticated libraries of JavaScript make it much more straightforward to modify the controlling parameters of data on the fly. So in today's video we have seen what is data visualization Data visualization is the process of acquiring, analyzing, and displaying the resulting information in a graphical fashion. Visualizing makes data easier for a wider audience to quickly grasp its inside. We offer selected data. There are various number of options when it deciding the form of representation of information we should. The job of visualization designer is to find out what is the best choice to represent particular data over the nature of the data. Data can be collected and displayed visually in real time. That means live through an HTML forms and JavaScript coding. Advance in web browser JavaScript processing, HTML5 browser support, and JavaScript libraries written in jQuery are the technology foundation for data visualization industry. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Dubia signing out.